What's up guys, this is Jared. The HTC 10 is here and it's beautiful. Starting with its metal body, when the light hits it just right, it'll make you smile and those dope chamfered edges just add to one of the most modern and attractive looking smartphone designs out there. But of course, that's just my opinion. We've got our headphones port at the top, SIM tray on the left, and on the right, we've got our micro SD card slot, as well as our volume and awesome power button, which I love for its knurled texture, making it ridiculously easy to identify without looking. On the bottom, we've got a USB-C port and the bottom facing speaker with another speaker or tweeter, if you will, located on the front with the earpiece. It doesn't sound anything like previous models did with those industry leading dual front facing stereo speakers from previous years, but with most of the mid to low frequencies coming from the bottom and the highs coming from the top, it still provides a somewhat stereo effect, which does sound good. Certainly much better than pretty much all mono speaker setups. Plug in some headphones though and customize your audio profile in the settings and wow. Basically you can make almost any pair of lower quality headphones sound awesome and turn high quality headphones into something amazing. Uh, the new 5.2 inch QHD Super LCD display looks great. Viewing angles are good and colors look awesome and are actually a lot more saturated than I expected. So Android Marshmallow and HTC's new version of Sense creates a really nice UI experience and HTC's done a great job of scaling back the amount of unnecessary apps, leaving out stock HTC apps that could easily be replaced by Google's own apps which is awesome because I almost always disable or uninstall stock OEM apps if there's a Google alternative. You'll also notice that the pull down and settings menus are pretty much stock Android, all aesthetically helping to provide an almost Moto X-like software experience, which I'm loving. Uh, HTC also has a pretty sweet way to connect things like Apple TV or Google Chromecast, for example. So with a simple three finger swipe up from the bottom, it'll pick up on any nearby devices and allow you to easily connect to those. But what's extra dope about this is that it'll mirror your device's display with very little latency and actually lets you play games on the big screen with no weird audio latency issues like I've experienced in the past with every device I've ever tested screen mirror casting on. There's also themes to spruce things up a little, uh, motion launch gestures to access things while the display is off, and the boom sound settings with Dolby Audio. The expandable storage option is great and all, but it's made even better with what's referred to as flex storage, which essentially formats your SD card to act as additional internal storage, not just separate external storage. So that's pretty sweet. And the fingerprint reader on this phone is baller. It's just as fast and accurate as the Nexus 6P or iPhones, which are two phones that I consider to have the best fingerprint readers on the market right now. And if you just want to check the time or notifications, just tap it to display that info. It's pretty cool. Now, because it's a flagship device with top of the line internal specs, performance has for the most part been perfect. Uh, for instance, while navigating around the UI, you'll notice folders open blindingly fast and just jumping from one screen to the next is really snappy. But during gameplay, I did notice some frames being dropped. It was mostly after playing my racing games for a couple of hours, which if a device is gonna drop frames, that's when it's gonna happen, but any other genre of game seems to perform just fine. So the HTC 10 comes with an impressive camera combo, so let's start with the front. Uh, what we have here is a five megapixel camera with an f1.8 aperture, which will give us an awesome depth of field for selfies, but it also has optical image stabilization, which as far as I know, makes this the first phone ever to feature OIS in a front facing camera. It takes adequate pictures, but can tend to look a little over processed. But the rear facing 12 megapixel camera, which also has an f1.8 aperture and OIS with a dual tone flash, can tend to lean on the side of overexposed highlights. But seems to do fairly well with shadows and midtones. not to mention the color accuracy appears to be on point without overly saturated colors. And with all that working together, we get some pretty nice natural looking pictures. Uh, battery life's been pretty good, not as good as HTC claimed at their presentation with two days of life, but when I was conservative with my usage, I was able to get through a full day of usage with just over four hours of screen on time. So there you have it. Uh, personally, I love this phone and I think HTC did an absolutely bang up job this year. Uh, it might not be waterproof, but it's one of the best phones out right now. And I'd be more than happy to use this as my daily driver because I really don't have any complaints with this phone. But I think that should about do it for this one. If you liked the video, show me some love by hitting that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, make sure you subscribe for more soon. But thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.